the Fighting Cancer Together Foundation presents The Facts About Cancer. Hi, my name is Joseph. Today I found out I have cancer and I was thinking to myself and was wondering how cancer starts. Maybe I can call my doctor. You are full gas. Yes. Hi, this is Dr. You're Full of Gas. How can I help you? Hi, Dr. You're Full of Gas. I was wondering, how cancer starts? Well, Joseph, doctors and scientists now know that each cancer starts with one cell, usually many years before you can fill a lump or a doctor can see it on a scan that cell has started to reproduce itself uncontrollably. You can see from the differences between normal cells and cancer cells, the cancer cells seem to have lost a number of vital control systems. What has happened is that some of these genes in the cell has been damaged or lost. Scientists call this mutation. Okay, thank you, Dr. You are full of gas. You are very helpful. No problem, Joseph. I am glad I could help, okay? Oh, I gotta go now. I'm being paged. Wow, Dr. You are full of gas has just given me a lot of information. I'm not sure if you all got it. So I'm going to make it a little easier for y'all. Lights, please. First, it starts off with one cell. Then that cell has something that is not right. But like all cells, it keeps on doubling itself. Since it keeps on doubling itself, the cells that have been made are messed up. Therefore, it is considered cancer. Those messed up cells keep on doubling and spreading through the entire body. Can you turn on the lights, please? You know, thinking about all this, you think, how am I going to get through this? Lots of people say support groups work. Yeah, they might, but I don't see them often. But then, there is also family. I wonder, how people get through it? I know. I'm going to ask my friend, Joe Mama, to come over, because I know he has battled cancer, and maybe he can help me. Hey, Joe Mama, do you mind coming over? I have a few questions to ask. Okay, see you in a bit. Hey, what's up with my home dog? Nothing much, Joe Mama. Hey man, I heard. I feel what you're going through. That's what I want to ask you about. Man, ask away. I'm all ears. How did you handle the fact that you had cancer? Well, I had my family and a lot of friends that helped me keep my spirits up. It made me want to get better even faster. And, you know, there are a lot of support group. Yeah, you might not see them much, but they know what you are going through. So y'all have a connection. Thanks, Joe Mama. You really eased my mind. No problem. Whatever I can do to help out a homeboy. But hey, I got to go. I have this church thing. Maybe you can come. I'll try. See you later. Alright, man. Holla at your boy. Did you know the survival rate for many types of cancer has improved in the recent years? However, cancer is the second leading cause of death in the United States. There will be about 1.4 million new cases of cancer that will be diagnosed in the United States, and more than 550,000 people will die from the disease. Improvements in cancer detection, diagnosis, and treatment have increased the survival rate for many types of cancer. About 64% of all people diagnosed with cancer will be alive five years after diagnosis.